Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and I am so pissed I'm not at Comic Con for this. I took the year off, right? First time, first time in 19 years, I take the year off, and I miss out on something like this. I'm so, I, I'm so, I, 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 I'm, I'm excited right now. I'm very excited because news just dropped along with a trailer that Clone Wars is coming back with new episodes for Disney Direct. That's right, it says here, Star Wars Clone Wars, the highly regarded animated series, just released a trailer for the revived show. Yeah, 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 the revived show. What the ass? The, what the, what the fuck? Uh, the show was being revived by Disney after it was canceled in 2013, ending in 2014. Fans at Comic-Con just got to see the trailer for the revived series, and minutes later, the trailer was released online. Now, it says here that the show will be on Disney Direct, the Disney streaming service that is currently in development, as confirmed by Christian Harloff. Uh, the service will act as a Netflix-like service. Uh, that's the Disney streaming stuff. Uh, also included in Disney Direct will be the live-action Star Wars show, written and directed by Jon Favreau. Uh, and the service will also include the uh, the MCU movies and everything else. But here, okay, look, here's that. Okay, that's that's fine. That shit's coming back. Twelve episodes to finish out the series. That 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 is. Look, here's the thing. We've been bitching about Star Wars. We've been bitching about Star Wars and how Disney's handled it for months, for months. In some cases, even even years. Okay, and and everyone still goes back and looks at the Clone Wars animated show as being a good show. Now, I will fully admit that I have like not seen all of it and 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 everything else, but I knew that it was canceled. I knew that it was unfinished, and I knew that there's a certain watch order which I'm I'm gonna start doing here pretty soon. Um, it's on my list of things to do. The the I talked to Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. He told me about it. I bookmarked the page, so I'm looking forward. But this 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 is is I am I'm very excited. If you guys can tell, so this is big. This is really big because this goes to show you that for one, they, they, someone there cares or cause this is not like anything like, you know, this isn't like you just go, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're just doing this willy nilly. They, I think this is done as a direct response uh, to last Jedi and the solo. I think this is, this is something that they maybe have gone like, look, we need to go back and finish this. We need to give the fans what they want. Uh, this is the first pro fan thing. I think that Disney's done in terms of compl like of, of doing something. Because we know they killed the EU. That angered a lot of people. We, we, they've uh, The Last Jedi killed Luke Skywalker and did it in a really terrible, 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 terrible way. Uh, as well as killing off other plot points that JJ set up. It's, the fandom's been in chaos. Everything's been a fucking nightmare. And everyone's been at each other's head over this because it's Star Everyone loves Star Wars. And it's, it's whatever. But now we... I, it, ah! Yes! I just want to say Yes! We get to go back to the Clone Wars. If you haven't watched that trailer, watch watch that trailer. It is it's not much there, but oh, it's oh, oh, oh. I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I from what I have seen in Clone Wars, I very much like the characters. Uh, I, I'm so excited now it's going to be completed. I, I, I'm very much a person. I just want to kind of put this like my own personal take on this one. But I'm very much a person that doesn't like it when things are left unfinished. It's one of the reasons why I have trouble getting into TV shows. It's one of the reasons why I don't watch as much as I used to because I don't, if they have an uncompleted story or an incomplete story, I feel like I get, I, I lose out as a viewer. And so I'm like, why should I invest my time? Why should I invest my energy, my money, my whatever, uh, into watching your show if you're not gonna give me a complete story? And this one, it kind of felt like Disney, you know, like when they bought uh, Lucasfilm in 2012 and the show was canceled a year later, it really kind of felt like they, it was a bit, it was one of the first kind of fuck you to the fans is what it felt like to me because they're like, look, the show is not doing well on Cartoon Network. It's fledgling. Let's just do whatever and, and, and do that, you know, and just get rid of it. And then they made Rebels that came out in 2014 and that kind of felt like the natural progression of things. Like, okay, like this is not us. We weren't doing this. You know, this was all Lucas and, and Filoni. So we're ending that, but we're giving Filoni this, which was excellent. Filoni is a, is a god for Star Wars fans. He gets it. Right. Let's put him in a creative exec position for for everything um, or a very hands on. Like, can we just make him the Kevin fucking Feige of, of Lucasfilm at this point? Like not like, you know, just run like the projects and be very hands on producer. I think he'd be very happy with that. Right. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. But the point is, so so you got that. And then, um, you know, the, it was left unfinished. So they tied into Rebels. Right. By bringing in Rex and, and those guys, uh, uh, you know, down the road. Then we find out that's even tied into Jedi, which is oh man. That was a mind blew my mind. Right. So they, they were they were, you know, this is Filoni. Filoni's laying some crumbs. Right. He's laying, laying, laying some stuff here uh, and, and gives fans what they want. He gets people excited for Star Wars. This is the first time I have felt legitimate excitement for Star Wars. 
like I, I want to say well over a year, right? Like when I saw the first trailers for for Last Jedi, I was I was excited, you know. And then I saw the movie. I wasn't excited for the movie, but then like Solo was kind of, eh, but I enjoyed it. But I, I wasn't like fully excited. I wasn't like amped up. I wasn't hyped up. I wasn't like yes. I am I am legitimately sitting here, mad as fuck that I am not at Comic Con being able to cheer this shit out in person. You know what I mean? Because there's there's a, you. I've done Comic Con enough times. Uh, when you you're in a room with those people and this kind of news drops, this kind of trailer drops, and there's a there's a magnetism, there is an energy, there is a feeling you get being in that room, and I am not there, and I legitimately feel regret right now. But the, but but it's it's coming back, it's coming back to Disney Direct. Look, here's the deal: I was gonna get Disney Direct anyway. I was gonna get it. Now it's a hundred percent guaranteed. I'm gonna get that shit. All right, hundred percent guaranteed. Now, look, I will understand. There are people out there going to be like, "But Matt, this is just pandering the fans. They're just giving them what they want. They're, you know, they're completing the story. It doesn't even matter. It isn't the movies. Blah 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 blah." And I get that. I get that. I get that. The movies need to be worked on, but this is, but this is something good. And I just, I, 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 I just want us to acknowledge and accept and 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 be excited for something that is that is that is this something that is good that we can all get behind to get to get the conclusion to the final chapter of the clone wars right to finally see it come to its end to see the to see the, the 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 battles between you know good and evil so to speak you know clones and droids right and 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 get all that stuff in ashoka and and clearly and uh and and anakin and and, and obi-wan and their journey and where it takes them and how it ties in to the rest of everything how they're oh just Yes, and it's next year, I believe, probably next year. Uh, gives me plenty of time to catch up on the show. I got, I got like six seasons to get through, but that's cool. I'm getting an ending to something I haven't even watched yet, and that's how excited I am. Imagine how erect my nipples are going to be when I actually get to watch those episodes. <laughs> anyway, I just look. I just wanted to, to talk about this thing. I'm excited. I feel uh, for the first time in a long time. There's there's a, there's a breath of love. Uh, going into Star Wars, and it's for the positive. And I think we can all get behind this. We can all be excited uh, and definitely go, you know what? There's been some flops. There's been some missteps. There's going to continue to continuously be missteps. But this is something I think we all can go, yes, yes, right? So I just, I leave it to you. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. I am super excited for this. Uh, I've been recording content for this channel all day. This literally just boosted my energy up. I'm very excited. Uh, leave your shit below. I want to hear it. My name, of course, is Matt Jarbo. This is the Three Buck Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day, and may the force be fucking with you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider becoming a patron today for just a dollar per month over at patreon.com forward slash mundane Matt.